drinking room. My new Platanissimo coffee machine was just delivered. Platanissimo. <gasps> Wait, that's personal! Ooh, why so secretive, Daniel? Ah, come on, don't be shy. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Simon Bolak? You were a Simon Bolak fan? Yes, but that was before I knew you. How could you do this to me, Daniel? That imposter's playing on my team, in my position, with my number! But I'm your biggest fan now. That's all that matters, right? Have you been hiding this from me all this time? I need to be alone, Daniel. Get out of my room. Uh, this is my room? <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. What can I do for you to forgive me? At Simon Bolak, Erico Platana is the best player of all time. Is that enough? You can do better. Okay. And your nose is huge. <laughs> there. Now everyone knows that I'm an Erico Platana fan. Even Bolak. You happy now? Hmm. No. It'll take more than that to make up for such high treason. Aww. I'm watching you. Ah. <laughs> hmm? Daniel? Daniel Sisu? Huh? Uh, yes? I saw your tweet. It hit me real hard, Daniel. I really miss Erico too. Uh. <laughs> and it's true. My nose is huge. <laughs> awesome room. Man, what a player. It makes us all look like amateurs. A league of his own. <gasps> Traitor! Huh? Inviting my arch enemy over? He showed up all by himself. And he loves you. <laughs> Oh, sure, keep defending him. I can see right through your little game. Come on, I swear, he means nothing to me now. Yeah? Then what's he still doing here? <laughs> Simon just wanted to see where I practice. No, oh, Simon did. It's Simon now. That's just great, Daniel. That's just great. <laughs> oh. <gasps> awesome, Jim. Just awesome! Takes me back to the early days. Who does he think he is? Coach Maple, the work you're doing with these kids? Awesome! Oh? That's the first time anyone's ever said that to me. Hmm. It could be awesome. Ah, uh, Mr. Bolak? Call me Simon, Daniel. No need for formalities between Platona fans. Uh, Simon, I just wanted to say... Shh. It's okay, Daniel. I know why you brought me here, and I think it's a great idea. You do? The great Platona will have his murals soon. Fans will gather here from all over the world. Uh... You can count on me, buddy. We're gonna make the best mural ever. It's gonna be awesome, Daniel. Awesome! Nice one, Daniel. Awesome! It wasn't my fault. It's all Simon's idea. Not my problem, Daniel. It's him or me. <laughs> okay, I'm doing it, but after that, you stop whining, okay? Come on, Hazelnuts. Be expressive and give it your all. Yay! Yay! We shouldn't be afraid to get our hands dirty. Release your creativity, my little hazelnuts. Let your imagination run wild.
you think your new pal's really nice, huh? What about this, then? Is this nice? Hmm? Yeah, that is nice. So where's the problem? Exactly! There isn't one! Seems fishy to me. No <laughs> one is that nice, Daniel. No one! <sighs> no one! If Eriko saw this, he'd say, No, no one, one can, can paint Platana except, except Picasso, Picasso. And, and he's, he's no, no longer, longer alive. alive. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no one can paint Platana, except Picasso, and he's no longer alive. Hmm? Oh. Think you know Daniel Sisu? Well, behind those pudgy cheeks and big boyish eyes lies a terrible secret. My favorite meal is... Dolphin! I would love to eat some more! Dolphin! You're so cute in all of these photos, Daniel. Awesome. You're just jealous. You know what? Maybe I like Bolak better after all. <gasps> okay, Daniel. I think we've said all we have to say. to lose your best friend. Not cool, Erico! We made the mural for you! All of this has been for you! Fine! Go on! Don't run it back to Bolak! It's so majestic, Hazelnuts. You've got paint running through your veins. Awesome! Such a great job! Erico would be proud. What a nice fly a Garrick specimen. Oh, hi there, Daniel. Oh. What are you doing? I know when I'm not wanted, Daniel. Wait! Sure, Bolak is super nice. And yeah, we have lots in common. But that's no reason for you to pack your bags! Too late, Daniel. I hope you'll be happy with Bolak. Hey, is that Mr. Tickle? <laughs> <laughs> It's over. Farewell. Give me back, Mr. Tickle. Bolak's leaving tomorrow, you know, right after the press conference for the mural. Press conference? Press conference. Okay, I'll stay. Nice of you to be here, Erico. Well, the Great Platana can also forgive. That's what I admire about you. How did you ever prefer Bolak over me? I've always been the star player. Back then, I thought you liked to show off too much. Until the match when everything changed. Yeah! <laughs> that was the day I realized that you weren't big-headed and that you have a heart of gold. Well, that was close. Ah, uh, <laughs> the guy with the heart of gold, that's me. <laughs> You're the football player of my life, Erico. Erico! <laughs> I, I might have been a little hard on Bolak. It's okay, I forgive you. Thank you all for coming. Before we begin, I'd like to call a very special boy to the stage. Daniel, would you please join me? Don't be shy. Oh no, Daniel! Seems to like it, right? 
Eric Oplatana is honored to have Simon Bolak playing in his position with his number. Hashtag Bolak is the best. Happy now? You could do better. Thanks, Erico. We shared so many awesome times. Hashtag awesome. Oh, no. What is that picture? Hey! Don't you dare like that! Shirt, cleats, socks. My shin guards! I left them at home! I can't play without them. It's too dangerous. Ha, <laughs> baloney. Scars are a player's badge of honor. Here, look. You know why I sink like a rock in the pool? No. Titanium knees. And you know why I beep at the airport? No. Titanium ribs. And haven't you ever seen the scar on my back? No! Believe me, Daniel. Nobody cares about your precious shin guards. Kids, we have a visitor today. Just pretend I'm not here. <laughs> We're having a safety inspection by the city, so let's be extra careful now, hazelnuts. Not to blow my own horn, but we've come a long way on safety. I'm open! I'm open! Hmm? Okay, that'll do. So how'd we do? Ten out of ten? In only ten minutes, you committed 137 safety infractions. Dangerous tackling. Oh! Excessive noise. Ah! No shin guards. Yeah! Turf. Cracks. Vegetables, shaving cream, and the fire extinguishers. The Hazelnuts Club is officially... No! Closed. <laughs> Please, Mr. Safety Man, don't shut our club down. We'll do anything you want. Your determination inspires me. What's your name, little one? D Daniel Sisu. Daniel Sisu, here is the boxed set of oh. safety and prevention. If I see tangible improvement on my next inspection, I'll rescind my decision. Security lesson number one. Oh, Dread! My snack! <laughs> dread and double Dread. At least I still have one good hand. That's why we always have snack time after practice. Mm-hmm. Now, oh, come on. I didn't have all these rules, and I'm perfectly fine. Hmm? I don't know. It looks like ex-footballers have all sorts of problems. Hearing loss, mood swings, memory loss. What? Baloney! <laughs> nah, I'm all right. What are we talking about again? F football damaged me? No. Did it? No. <laughs> football has betrayed me, Daniel. My body's in ruins. You've got to save those children, Daniel. Don't let them end up like me. More safety? More safety. Maximum safety! No way are we letting him shut us down. We'll show the inspector how safe we can be. Yeah! Over here! No sudden movement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too loud. Hmm. Over here. Wait. I'm wondering about the ball. Look, Daniel, I know. Shh. 
Daniel, I know you're trying to make things better, but I think we're going a little overboard. Hmm? And that's why you should always play with a well-inflated ball. What were you saying about the ball? <laughs> Over here. <gasps> this is perfect, Erico. No contact, no risk. We've saved football, Daniel. Look out, a huge bumblebee. No sudden movements, there is nothing to be afraid of. I'll be okay, kids. Don't worry. We failed, Erico. We did our best, but danger's all around us. <laughs> hmm? Hi, Daniel. Hello. <sighs> Ah, good doggy. <laughs> Hi there, little guy. You okay, Erico? You seem tense. Who? Me? Tense? <laughs> <laughs> Erico, you home? <gasps> wow! Yep, check out my titanium sealed reinforced silicone housing. Awesome, Erico! <gasps> hey, I know how to save the hazelnuts! <laughs> Kill it! Kill it! Oh, yeah, yeah, I did it! <laughs> no, I can't end like this! Let's go, Plutana! Welcome to the team. You're fired! Great game, Plutana! World champion! Here we go! Here we go. Here we go. You're my best friend, Erico! Wow. <laughs> Perfect! Color me impressed, Daniel Sisu. Complete protection. Bold move. It's just a hundred old sweaters. <laughs> Did anyone just hear a titanium sealed reinforced silicone ball crashing into aluminum garbage cans? Hmm? No. Uh, will you excuse me for a moment? <laughs> Erico! Are you okay? I saw my whole life flash before my eyes, Daniel. It was awesome! But it made me realize something. Huh? You can't be a winner by staying in your shell. In life, you have to be able to take risks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Remarkable, Daniel Sisu. Hold it! Safety is important, and so is taking care of our health. But if we can't have fun, it isn't football anymore. Disappointing, Daniel Sisu. Hmm? A tear? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Watch your fingers, Hassan! 
Fasten your seatbelt! Don't touch that! Don't go near the edge! Look carefully before you cross! <laughs> hmm? Mr. Safety Man? This inspection is cancelled. You've saved your club and opened my eyes. You can keep the jacket. Time for me to follow my dream. To become an extreme sports athlete. Thank you, Daniel Sisu. Oh, that's the coolest guy I ever met. Ha! <laughs> After you, of course. <laughs> Stop! You can't bungee jump from a hang glider! It's way too dangerous! To live your life to the fullest, sometimes you've got to take chances. Daniel, is this practice session a joke? You guys have been napping all morning! We're not napping, Eriko. We're meditating. Practice is over, Hazelnuts. <laughs> now, nap time. See? Are you kidding me? How am I gonna get my body back if you never play football? Daniel? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Okay. A game on Saturday? That's great! Against two. We'll never make it. We're all gonna die. Come on! Now we're gonna play some football. I was starting to lose hope. It's okay, kids. I forfeited. <gasps> what? Okie dokie. Let's meditate to evacuate that mean old stress. No, oh, come on. What is this? This is a nightmare. Daniel is never going to improve on a team like this. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Snack? M m my name. <laughs> my name is Daniel. I'm the new intern. What's an intern? Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. <laughs> oh, what's happening to me? Warm inside. My plan is working perfectly. Seconds. Well done, Daniel. That's your best time. Eriko, what am I doing here? What's going on? I signed you up for the Crushers. Thank you, who? Thank you, Eriko. What? But I don't want to be a Crusher. I'm the captain of the Hazelnuts. They need me. Don't worry. I took care of everything. Hello, I am, uh, uh, Daniel Sisu. Yeah, Daniel, I know. Come on. Everyone is waiting for you to start practice. <laughs> I can't stay here, Eriko. I'll end up in the hospital. You're really gonna have to raise your game here, Daniel. Well, you better, if you want to survive. 
Where are you from? Why are your eyes so soft? And your cheeks so chubby! <laughs> Show them, Daniel. Take the biggest one by surprise! I'm here to train with you <laughs> to become a crusher. <laughs> no! Oh, push it back in. Get it, 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 get it! Stop! That's not how you treat a bump. <laughs> it's not really that big a deal. Huh? You're a crusher now! Crusher! 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 <laughs> You know what? Being a crusher is awesome! You're not here to be the mascot! Get up! <laughs> Daniel! The ball! <laughs> Wait! This isn't a ball. It's... it's a big rock! That's not how you play football. <laughs> and that's not how you do a throw-in! And that's not how you treat the referee! I really miss my family! Is this how you always play? This is the Crusher way! Crushers! You've never tried playing football any other way? To be a winner every game, there is no need to inflict pain. Have some fun and laugh instead of breaking bricks with your head and coming off the field of dead. Oh no, not that! If you have fun with Is that a portrait of me? <laughs> I hope you're proud of yourself. Well, Daphne's reading has definitely improved. And Jade has adopted a kitten. They used to be war machines, Daniel. Look what you've turned them into. Oh, no. I stained my jersey. <laughs> Not only are you bad at football, but you're contagious. That's it! You're going back to the hazelnuts! I can't just leave like that! It's Cassie's birthday tomorrow, and Daphne is making great progress. The little white cat. The girls still need me, Erico. I can go back next week, or next month. Come on, girls! Here we go! <laughs> just you wait. Once a hazelnut, always a hazelnut. Ah. Help. I've been kidnapped by the crushers. Save me, love. Daniel! <gasps> Glad that's not me. We've got to go save him. I always knew this day would come. It's okay, Dad. We got him. Already? Oh. <sighs> it's okay now, Daniel. Your nightmare is over. <laughs> How could you do this to me? 
Did you think about the Crushers? I didn't even say goodbye! So? I'm sure they've already forgotten about you. Daniel! <laughs> Give us back Daniel! He's our Daniel! Right, Daniel? You're a hazelnut! Daniel is a Crusher! A hazelnut! Crusher! Hazelnut! Crusher! Hazelnut! Crusher! Um, I'm half hazelnut, half Crusher? <laughs> Nut Crusher? Whose team are you on? Pick a side. Erico, I can't decide. <sighs> Daniel, here's the thing. Sometimes in life, you've got to... I've chosen! I'm a hazelnut. Sorry, Crushers. <laughs> Daniel, you were supposed to pick the crushers. Have you seen the size of them? Stop! Daniel taught us to express our emotions without violence. Hmm? We need to respect his decision. Let's go, crushers. Crushers. I'll come back to play hide and seek. No, Daniel. We'll need some time to heal. I'm gonna miss them, Erico. They'll always be with you, if you remember what they taught you. <gasps> Crushers! That's how I won my 12th European Cup. <laughs> I know, Erico. You told me yesterday. I did? Oh, yeah, I did. Yeah! What's going on here? My statue. What are they doing to my statue? Uh, I think they're tearing it down, Erico. No! It can't be! No one touches Erico Platana! I'm the greatest footballer in the world! Everyone loves me! Dad, who's that statue of? A uh, tennis player, I think. A real lowlife. I knew it. The world has forgotten me. Today they tear down my statue, tomorrow it's my football jerseys, and then what? My cereal brand? They discontinued your cereal a month ago, Erico. What? No, not the Erico Pops! Don't look, Erico. We both know you'll always be a star, statue or no statue. <laughs> what is it? What's wrong? Ah, you scared me. I thought something had happened to him. Erico, why is your statue in my bed? <sighs> I couldn't sleep last night. Easy. Easy does it. You stole your statue from the park? I didn't steal it, Daniel. I saved it. And what happened to its face? Easy. Ah, easy does it. Nothing. It was always like that. We can't keep your statue here, Erico. It's huge. And it gives me the creeps. Don't listen to him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. What a heartless thing to say, Daniel. Besides, it's only for a few days. Hmm, I'm not sure it's such a good idea, Erico. Daniel. No, Erico. Seriously, it's not a good idea. Oh, Daniel. It feels like you're not listening to me. I knew you'd understand. Oh.
Daniel, you really gotta stop with the yelling. I see it everywhere. Yeah, I made a few copies to confuse burglars. Can't be too careful. That does it, Eriko. I don't want to see your statue anymore. Not in the fridge, or in the living room, or in the shower. <sighs> Fine, I'll put it back in your bed. No! We have to take it back to the park. What, so they can smash it to pieces? Not in my life. Hmm, maybe we could put it somewhere else. On a roundabout? This statue is a monument to my success, Daniel. Its rightful place is in the limelight. But no one can see it if you keep it here. You might as well have destroyed it. Hey, you're right, Daniel. Everyone must be wondering where it is. Without Eriko Platana to show them the way, they must be lost and confused. We're coming to you live from the local park where visitor numbers have reached record levels. There's no doubt about what's got people flooding here. A brand new statue, which has completely transformed the atmosphere of the park, has just been unveiled. The sculptor Giuseppe Provolone explains. To me, the old statue represented the past. Money, fame, bling, it didn't speak to me. What really speaks to me is the simple life, real things. I wanted to create something that reminded us that deeper down we're all citizens of the world. Visitors aren't the only ones to have fallen under the new statue's spell. The silvery skunk, which hasn't been seen in the local area for over 20 years, has returned to the park. Who said animals can't be art lovers? Aww. They don't care, Daniel. My statue's gone, and nobody cares. I'm sorry, Eriko, but it's just a statue, you know? Daniel's right. It's not just a statue. In the end, it's not very important. That's true. It's super important. And I didn't even think it was that good. The chin was too small, and the eyes were all freaky. Exactly! It was a masterpiece. You can't just take this on the chin, Platana. It's time to make a big splash. Oh, yeah, and the way your lips were... That's it! You're right, Daniel. I know exactly what to do. That's great, Eriko. I'm glad to hear that, because sometimes I'm not really sure you listen to me. No time to lose. I need a big roll of duct tape, a hammer, a plastic bag, a chisel, plus a raspberry smoothie. What for? We're back in the local park where things have taken a dramatic turn. The new statue has vanished. In its place, a ransom note left by the abductor, which is disturbing, to say the least. Uh, does this thing work? Nope. Got it. Hello! I'm in possession of your new park sculpture that was scandalously put in place of the statue of Erico Platana, the greatest footballer in the world! Allow me to remind you that he's not only rich and famous, but he also happens to be a social media influencer, a part-time model, an audacious businessman. Airtime restrictions mean we've had to cut short this section of the video, which spends 47 minutes describing the footballer's career and muscular physique. Philosopher and hairstylist. If you ever want to see your statue again, you must meet my demands. I want a new statue of Erico Platana, twice as big as the old one. Or else. The video arrived with a piece of the statue, which had been chopped off as a threat. Investigations are underway to discern the motives of this psychopath. In the meantime, the park has been closed until further notice, leaving art lovers inconsolable. They took it from me! They took it from me! <laughs> oh no! Daniel, we agreed to turn down the yelling, remember? What have you done, Eriko? I sent them a message. Let's see if they care a bit more now. And what was this smoothie for? <sighs> That's enough, Eriko! This time you've gone too far! You have to take the statues back! Because of you, the park is closed, and that nice sculptor is very sad. It's a power struggle, Daniel. We can't give up now. Believe me, just a few more videos like that, and they'll build me a new statue in no time. <sighs> okay, Eriko. But I might have a better plan. I'll need some rope, wooden planks, a drill, wheels, and multicolored modeling clay. What for? 
<laughs> ah, so Daniel, what's this plan about exactly? No, you dirty rat! Crosses Erica Watana, Daniel! No one! If you so much as scratch my statue, you'll have me to answer to! Yeah! The Silvery Skunk! Yeah! Daniel, what are you doing? Yeah! No! Well done! Bravo, Daniel! You're the one who made me lose control! Don't you act all innocent, Daniel! You wanted my statue gone, too! Just like everyone else! I couldn't care less about your statue! Well, I do care, okay? I'm a star, Daniel! Ugh, you don't know what it's like to give up everything you are overnight! I'm sorry about your statue, Eriko. But since you came to live with me, my life has changed, too, you know? <laughs> yeah, how? I had to get used to waking up earlier because you don't like to sleep in. I don't watch cartoons anymore because you only like football. I had to learn to hold on when I need the bathroom because you spend two hours and 45 minutes in there every morning. And I wear lace-up shoes because you're afraid of Velcro. Gee, all oh, the sound it makes is terrifying. I, I didn't know you changed all that for me. I don't mind, Eriko, because you're my best friend. Uh. We have to take him back to the park, don't we? Mm -hmm. A genuine miracle has taken place at the park. The new statue has been found safe and sound, putting a smile on everyone's faces. <laughs> it came back to me! It came back! The statue of Eriko Platana has also resurfaced. The town council will proceed with plans to demolish it as soon as possible. Don't worry, Eriko. As soon as you get your body back... <laughs> We'll build you an even bigger statue. That's nice of you, Daniel. <clears throat> uh, by the way, what was that multicolored modeling clay for? Surprise! Now you have a mini statue in the meantime. <sighs> what have you done with my chin? <laughs> That's my Daniel. Go on, you're almost there! What's he doing? Don't stop! Did you see that, Erico? I messed up, but I played with my heart. How can you be so pleased with yourself while putting in so little effort? I don't know. It comes naturally. <laughs> that wasn't a compliment! <sighs> Do you realize how lucky you are to have me as your coach? Sorry, Erico. I'll try harder. Football, football, football. Hmm? Squirrel! Hmm. <laughs> hmm. That gives me an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Bend your knees. It'll be easier on your inner thighs. Speed, power. I've been watching you. You've got what it takes to be a star. Here's my card. Call me if you want to train with a real coach. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> Back to work. Can you do me a few kick-ups? Okay! <gasps> Did you see that? I beat my record. Okay, see you later. I'm gonna go and coach Larry. Hmm? What? <laughs> Not now, Cedric. You're going to coach Larry? Well, since you're taking it easy, I figured I could also train someone else. <laughs> wait! Wait! I'll start again! I'll try harder! <laughs> <laughs> My plan is working perfectly. I've got a stitch! 
if you say so. Water. Up to you. Club is that way. Uh, sorry, my bad. Larry! What? That wasn't even my fault! You know what? I've had it! I'm gonna find someone else, too! A new coach! Oh, really? And who might that be? Um. Hey there, Daniel! <laughs> Maple! I'll ask Maple! Maple? You're replacing me with Maple? Okay, you know what? We are done. From now on, I'm going to coach Larry. Oh, yeah? Fine. 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 Hmm. <laughs> um, Maple? Daniel, these potatoes sure are giving me a hard time. Would you like to be my personal trainer? Hmm. Look at this squash, Daniel. What do you see? Smiling? Yeah. The man looks at the squash, and the squash smiles. Take this watering can, Daniel. Whoa! I accept to guide you. Yeah! <laughs> Does your mom still make that excellent apple pie? Okay, you're in luck. Mm -hmm. My schedule's been cleared. We can start training right away. Come on, 30 laps of the field, 100 push-ups, and 50 pull-ups. Then we start the warm-up. Um, I don't think so. Uh, what? Uh, but, but, um, uh, uh, you don't make the rules. I'm a future star, okay? You can't replace talent. Coaches, on the other hand, poo. <sighs> okay, what do you want? I might have an idea or two. Um, so where does practice start? Mental preparation is key, Daniel. Oh, right. Quit worrying. You'll stress out the endives. <laughs> I ordered a pony, not a donkey. Put me... Put me through... Settle down, Caramel. Put me through to your manager! Huh? Erico! Ah! ah, Daniel. I, uh... Just came to get something out of my locker. <laughs> and, uh, how's it going with Larry? Ah, great. Perfect. He's very receptive. And you with Maple? <laughs> Squashes have so much to teach us, Daniel. Uh, um, same. Huge mental preparation. Good luck with your donkey. It's not a donkey, okay? It's a pony, and his name is Caramel! Maple? Coaching is a real job, Dad! Oh, hi, Daniel. Uh, I was thinking, now that we've spread out the compost and pruned the fig trees, could we work on some passing? Of course. But first, nap time. You must always listen to your biological clock. Here's your pony. You like it? Great. Ready to practice now? Hmm. All I'm seeing is a donkey with a ribbon. What I asked for is a pony. Okay, you listen here, Blondie. I'm only going to say this once. I've never seen a... I've never seen anyone improve this fast, champ. <laughs> I'm starting to wonder what you're still doing in this club. <laughs> hmm, now that you mention it... Erico. Daniel? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> mm. 
Jericho. I've thought it over. If you'd rather coach Larry, go ahead. But I think we should give it another shot. Huh? I just can't do it. Erico? Yeah? I... I've thought it over and... Daniel, I need to talk to you. Huh? Larry's gonna transfer to a new club and, uh... He asked me to go with him. You, uh, wanted to say something? No, nothing. I hope Larry becomes a great champion. Hmm? Hello, I'm waiting over here. I'm not sure I should just take the number 10 jersey because although there is a one in it, like first, there's also a zero. And as for that, you know. Ah, Daniel, are you coming? It's time to read to the zucchinis. <laughs> well, somebody seems under the weather. I have... I have a friend who means a lot to me, but... but I can't seem to let him know. You can tell your friends anything, Daniel. That's what friends are for. Oh! Thanks, Maple! You really are bad at coaching, but your flat peaches are to die for. They sure are delicious. <laughs> Twenty minutes. <laughs> wow, caramel! Yeah! Let's go! I've got a coach to get back. Sorry, that's me. I love the violin. Hmm. Well, time to sign the contract. If anyone is opposed to this union, speak now or forever hold your peace. No, oh, Caramel! It's the other way! The other way! You're really sure? Don't complain afterward, it'll be too late. Please, Caramel! It's really important. So lazy, Caramel. Stop! Daniel? Sisu? Don't do it! I want you to be my coach and no one else! Oopsie. Too late, Sisu. Never trust a man in a puffy jacket and loafers. <laughs> Monday, we're gonna start with 10 laps, some kick-up sessions, and then we're gonna work on this right foot. You got it! Uh, do you think we could keep Caramel? Nah, he's only rented. Caramel! It's you. Sit down and have a nice warm milk. These long winter nights remind me of my old friend Erico Platana and of the story of how he came to love Christmas. Oh! I can't believe it. Someone threw their trash into our room. Oh no! You found your present! It was supposed to be a surprise. You serious? The real presents come from Santa Claus, but I like making my own for the people I love. Okay, you're serious. What about you, Erico? Do you have a little something for me? Happy to oblige. An autograph? Thanks! I'm off to the retirement home, sweetheart. Everyone's been asking about your Christmas cookies. I'll meet you there when the icing's done, Mom. Mm. Erico, are you coming with me to the old folks to bring a little Christmas spirit? I'd love to, but I've got too many presents to resell online. Oh, no! You naughty glutton! You ate all the cookies! A little too much cinnamon. 
<sighs> if only Erico could feel some Christmas spirit. Then something incredible happened. Your wish has summoned me here, for it is sincere and selfless. Whoa! Are you the real spirit of Christmas? Yes. So, what can I do for you, little one? It's... it's my friend Erico. I think... I think he doesn't like Christmas. Oh, huh? Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. Hmm... Don't tell me you invited a homeless guy over for Christmas! If by midnight you haven't opened your heart to the magic of Christmas, I'll turn you into a bubble! <laughs> a Christmas tree bubble! <laughs> a Christmas tree bubble? Wait, that wouldn't change much, would it? Forever! <laughs> Glitter! Struck by the magic of the sorcerer. Erico and I felt like... <sighs> Where was I? Oh, that's right! Erico and I felt like we were transported through space and time. When we opened our eyes once again... I know this place. This is where I used to play as a kid. Look, Erico, it's you! Wow! Wow! <laughs> <laughs> Looks as if you liked Christmas back then. Having a great Christmas. That's not the Christmas spirit. <clears throat> Snowflakes. <laughs> what wicked trick had the sorcerer played on us this time? We were just about to find out. Huh? To the present, Erico. It's the retirement home. Easy on the eggnog, Mr. Dince. A cookie, Mrs. Martinez? It's my special denture friendly recipe. Yum, 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 yum. Mm. Homemade cookies. Oh. Smiles. That's what Christmas is all about. Simple pleasures. What are you doing? What am I doing? I'm saving your party, Daniel. <laughs> Put your hands in the air! Who hasn't got the Platana t-shirt yet? <laughs> Christmas edition! That's not the Christmas spirit! Come on, chill out, Daniel. That's more reindeer. Sorcerer, do something for Erico! Put your hands in the air! Okay, but this is his last chance! Right. Hey! Who cut the electricity? I don't think we're at the retirement home anymore, Erico. Wait, are we at my house? Is this my mansion? <laughs> Erico? I think we're in the future. Well, yeah, we were in the future. I can't believe it. It's, it's, it's me. I like the new chin, but does it go with the nose? 
Up next on Forgotten Stars, Eriko Platana. Ah, people are talking about me. Your Christmas Eve special, sir. Reindeer Tartar for one. <laughs> Sorry, Eriko. Your future self looks really lonely. <coughs> and really sad. I can't believe it. Daniel! I've got my body back! Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Delivery by Nanodrone, sir, from Daniel Sisu. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. I haven't seen him in years. Not since you got your body back, sir. He never forgets my Christmas present. Just put it with the others, Futuro. This is the present I gave you today. You never opened it. You didn't open any of them. You can really taste the reindeer, huh? Right, well, time's up. Let's go, Christmas Bobble. <laughs> hey, let me go! Christmas Bobble! Mr. Sorcerer, wait! Can't he at least open his present? Oh, what is it? What is it? I can't say. It's a surprise. Ah, uh, my only weakness. I love surprises. Hmm. Ah. Uh. Do I really have to open it? Yes! <sighs> uh, sorry! I fell asleep. Too much warm milk. <coughs> Where were we? Oh, 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 it's... it's, uh... it's, uh... I don't know what to say. Uh, homemade, huh? As Eriko turned the pages, he suddenly felt his heart beat faster in his chest. What's happening to me? Was it possible that he was touched by these poorly drawn doodles and blurry photos? The best presents come from the heart, Eriko. <laughs> or was it all just a glitter allergy? We may never know. But in the end... Thank you, Daniel. Futuro, help me unwrap all of them. Right away, sir. There we go. Now that's some Christmas spirit. Greetings, everyone. Are you gonna shout again? <laughs> <clears throat> Daniel? <gasps> Is that for me? Oh, thank you, Eriko. Go ahead. Open it. You wrote Daniel. Sure, I wrote Daniel because it's for you. Daniel. Thank you, Eriko. Ah, open your present, Daniel! So you don't burn yourself when you take the cookies out of the oven. Thank you! And I still wear them to this day. Merry Christmas, kids. Don't forget, it's the thought that counts, not the price tag. And also, drinking warm milk while on a rocking chair will make you nauseous. Want to play a game of Good Doggy with me? Oh, yeah? What is that? You've never heard of Good Doggy? The Good Doggy. Lots of laughs, lots of woofs, and lots of bones. Pee on the carpet card. <laughs> oh, no. Good Doggy. The friendly game that will make you go woof woof. Battery sold separately. You got to pet the Good Doggy and tell him he's a Good Doggy, and then he'll bark like a Good Doggy. Good doggy. Not 
now, Daniel. Hmm? I'm planning my vacation for when I get my body back. The Caribbean, Australia, Mount Everest, and the World Jet Ski Trade Show. Wow! We're gonna visit all that? We? Well, of course, both of us. It's a single-seat jet ski. Hmm? Sorry, Daniel. Here we go. We'll still be friends once you've got your body back, right? Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, good old Daniel. Good doggy. Good news, hazelnuts. We found a sponsor. You found somewhere decent to live. Someone found my car. Well, that's something. No, but our new balls have arrived! They're made of 100% biodegradable cork. Thanks to who? Thanks to you, Mother Nature. What are these monstrosities? We can replace all of our old plastic balls. Because plastic... Pollutes and is very toxic! Daniel, what if I'm a plastic ball, too? You gotta hide me. You'll be safe here. Daniel, are you sure? Trust me, they'll never hurt you. There, there's another one. Bursting time. Don't let them in. I'll do whatever you want. Hmm, even a game of good doggy? I'm discarding my grooming card and playing Scratch My Belly. Good doggy. <laughs> I win! What? Baloney! All my cards were pee on the carpet. Round two. Nah, I'm good. I'm not just gonna sit here gathering dust. Go see if they've calmed down yet. But make sure you close the door behind you. But if they haven't, can we play again? Yeah. Yeah, we'll see. Hmm. hmm. Bad news, Hazelnut. Still no sponsor? City Hall found out you're living in the gym? I'm not gonna get my car back, am I? Gotta say, it pulls good. No. We're going to have to patch up our old balls. The cork balls have biodegraded. Oh. Uh -huh. Because plastic colors, but, but sometimes you need it. Oh. There it go. There it go. There it go. Daniel, finally! I'd lost hope. But I was only gone for ten minutes. Yeah. What's going on out there? Is it over? Can I come out? I've got to tell him the truth. I've got to tell him the truth. But if I tell him the truth, he won't play good doggy anymore. Yeah, whatever. Uh? I'm leaving anyway. What? <laughs> it's getting worse and worse out there. They're destroying all the plastic balls. Oh, no. What are we going to do? <laughs> ah! Lost again. Good doggy. <laughs> ah, that was a really nice game. Erica was so not ready when I played my pound card. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I know. I lied. <laughs> but he never wants us to play together otherwise. <laughs> You're right. I'll tell him the truth. Just after we play one last game. was the last game. The last, 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 last game. I win! Hmm? Okay, that 
was really the last game. Doggy? No time. I gotta get back to my research. Hmm? Hmm. What? What is all this stuff? If I can prove that I'm made of recyclable material, I can finally get out of here! Ha! Of course! <laughs> I should have known all along! I have no idea what I'm doing because I never went to school! Phew. <laughs> I know what you're going to say, good doggy. I promised I would stop lying to Eriko. <laughs> but he's going to learn the truth eventually. So one last lie doesn't matter, right? Daniel? Jamea? Uh, I can explain. Hmm, nice mohawk. You play guitar? Uh... Bass. <laughs> I've got good news and bad news, Eriko. Daniel? Why are you dressed like that? The uh, world has changed dramatically, Eriko. All plastic is forbidden now! Uh, for real? The end of plastic has thrown society into confusion and terror. It's a big jumble! I become a lonesome rebel in a world where recycle bins are no more. Recycle bins are no more! And what's the good news? I found the expansion to Good Doggy! Panic in the Doghouse! The Good Doggy! Panic in the Doghouse! Even more crazy content! More cards! More bones! More... <laughs> hours of fun for the whole family! <laughs> hmm? You okay, Erico? Don't cry. Look, a letter came for you. We're saved, Daniel. I've got my degree in chemistry. What? I just completed my online degree. Now I can take up my research again. Don't you want to play one last round? Not now, Daniel. I'm so close to the goal. So close! Hmm. I'll leave you to it, then. Daniel, the door. Daniel? Yeah, you want something done right, you're gonna jump. Plastic. <gasps> plastic! Plastic! Anyone seen the plastic cutlery? Um, no, I just have the plastic cups. Oh! I've got the plastic straws! <gasps> I've got the paper plates! <sighs> oh no, actually they're plastic! <laughs> no! Plastic! Daniel! Oh, just you wait, little man. Daniel! Daniel! Lying to me, your best friend. Forcing me to play cards in a closet. <sighs> Making me get a college degree. <laughs> oh, me, a college degree! It's over, good doggy. Erica will never want us to be friends again. All I wanted was to play with you, Erica. I lied! You made a fake newspaper, a phony radio show, and a whole mohawk thing just so I would play with you? I was scared that you would abandon me once you got your body back. You should be ashamed! No one has ever lied to me like that! Also, you can be proud. You really went too far! Though maybe I was kind of asking for it. You disgust me, Daniel! But also, I admire you. Sorry, Erico. Thanks to you, I've got a biochemistry conference next weekend! Which promises to be fascinating. So are you angry or not? I... I haven't decided yet. Okay, let's make a deal. You swear to never, ever lie to me again, and I'll buy a two-seater jet ski. Deal, Erico! So, do you want to try the new expansion? Wait, I get something better than that. Daniel, Daniel, Daniel.
did you manage to lose only one shin guard? Oh, I don't know, Eriko. Whee! Whee! <laughs> <sighs> well, let's take a look through my old things and see what we can find. Oh. <laughs> You're too young for this. Uh, this is not mine. Oh, I was sure I threw that away. Aww. Are these drawings from when you were a kid? No, that's from a couple years ago. Sketches from my graphic novel. You used to draw comics, Eriko? Uh-uh-uh. Graphic novels, Daniel. I've always made time to explore my many talents. Eriko Platana is a complete artiste. Joel, the cheeky squirrel. Oh, the adventures we had together. His best friend is a talking tire? You bet! This project was pure genius from start to finish. But anyway, that's all in the past now. Why'd you give it up? No time, Daniel. What with games, interviews, selfies. When you're a superstar, there's no time for hobbies. Too bad you stopped. You sure don't have those problems anymore. Maybe not now, but I intend on getting my body back soon. So get your butt in gear, Daniel. Even better than the real thing. Erico, look! I made myself a new shin guard. Are you coming? We're gonna be late for practice. Daniel, just in time. I need a fresh pair of eyes. You're back to the drawing board? I couldn't resist the call of Joel. I've drawn pages and pages since yesterday. It's like it was always in me. What do you think? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, it rocks, right? I've already called ten different publishers. Uh, um, the drawing of the clouds is funny. The fight scene? You're holding it upside down. <laughs> You know what, Eriko? Comics are nice, but you already know where your true talents lie. Of course. How could I forget? Now I remember. The scent of leather. The squeak of souls. That was my real passion, Daniel. Shoe-making! What? Ha! <laughs> Graphic illustrator! What was I thinking? Being a shoemaker is my true calling. But what about practice? Not now, Daniel. I have to strike the leather while it's hot. But you'll come to see me play, right? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I'll be there later. Okay, Eriko. You're making your dad That's proud, my son. baby girl. Huh. Erico, you didn't come see me at practice. Daniel? Ah, just in time. The Welton gave me a stitch, but I got the upper hand at last. You made me shoes? Not just any shoes. Platanas. The shoe I've always dreamed of making. Stylish, comfortable, and high performance. I know. Breathtaking. Go on, try them on. Uh, I don't know, Erico. Go on, tell me what you think. It's just a couple hours work, you know? <laughs> and a lifelong dream. <laughs> well, am I a genius or what? There, uh... I've never had shoes like these before. <laughs> you better believe it. Good, I'll call the factory. Feet all around the world are gonna be singing my name. 
I mean, uh, shoemaking is great, and you've uh, got a... Oh, got a gift. But maybe you should put that aside for the moment, you know? <gasps> so you can concentrate on your real talent. Holy cow, Daniel. Of course. Now I remember. The applause, the glitz, the glamour, the beating of Dove's wings. Magic! How could I have been so blind? That's my true calling. No, Erico, it's fun. Abracadabra! <laughs> okay, I might be a little rusty. Can you at least come see the match this afternoon? Yeah, yeah, don't worry. You promise? Yeah, 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 I promise. Is it this one? No. Okay, then. Is it this one? No. Oh, I must have dropped it. Huh? Of course! My nail arts kit! Huh? My makeup set! My hairdressing equipment! My old paintball gear! My DJ turntable! My ventriloquist puppet! What's up, Daniel? My propane barbecue! Oh, don't worry. I've got my volunteer fireman's helmet in here somewhere. Hey, what's this? Up around the edges, but inspiration takes time, Daniel. Sorry, Mr. Box, but you need to go away. It's better for everybody. Don't do it, Daniel! You can't throw me away like that without talking to Erico first! But he won't listen to me. You know how he gets when he's fixated on something. I agree. It's the only way. But if you do that, you'll regret it for the rest of your life! Don't pay attention to him, Daniel. You can never trust a puppet. But you're a puppet, too! <laughs> Daniel? Did you come to do some fly fishing, too? Hey! That's my stuff. You've got to stop this, Erico. Every 20 minutes, you switch obsessions. You'll never get your body back if you stop training me. I can't help it if I'm good at everything. Like I said, I'm a complete artiste. But you're not a complete artiste. You're not good, Erico. Sculptures are pretty average. <laughs> but at football, you're a genius. That's more than enough. Huh. Gee, thanks, Daniel. I thought we were friends. I'll see you later, Dream Crusher. Hmm. Fine, Joel, you win. Erica will never play football again. Hmm? Hey! <gasps> Can I help you? Or have you just come to shatter my dreams again? No, I've come to save them. Do you know what's in every frame of your comic? A gripping narrative and hysterical jokes? No. A uh, football. And do you know what's all over your shoes? Quality and a painstaking attention to detail. Plates! Your nail art? Football! Your hairdressing? Football! 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 I don't see what that proves. It's just a coincidence. It proves that football has always been your true passion. You put it in everything you do. Oh, come on. What about my ice sculpture, then? Wow. You're right, Daniel. No matter what I do, football always runs through my veins. But that's a good thing, Erico. It means that you're really into your passion. And on top of that, you're a superstar. Oh, yeah. 
And if I never get my body back, what happens to the superstar then? If I really can't be the best player in the world anymore, what will become of me? The best coach in the world. And anyway, you'll always be a superstar to me. Oh, Daniel. My saxophone? Ditch it. My hand-painted plates? Ditch them. There's just one thing left. Ah! <gasps> Shin guards! Ah! I knew I put them somewhere. <laughs>